So you asked uh, about 30. Mm-hmm. Now, what's special about these angles is that they're all quadrantal angles. A quadrantal angle is not in a quadrant. Quadrantal angles are around the unit circle on the x, the positive x-axis, the negative x-axis, the positive y-axis, or the negative y-axis. So, like, if we were looking at a unit circle, your quadrantal angles, whoa, wow, that's a pet circle, are right there, right there, right there, and right there. Those, those are, yeah, all the intercepts, all, all the places where the circle would intercept the x and the y-axis, those are your quadrantal angles. This one right here would be zero radians, pi over two radians. This would be pi radians. This would be three pi over two. And then finally, two pi radians. Um, I, I simplified as I went. I'm sorry if that messed you up. Two pi over two, and this one is supposed to be four pi over two, but they both simplify. This simplifies to two pi, and this one simplifies to just pi. So, but if I don't simplify, you can see how I count around. I go zero, pi over two, two pi over two, three pi over two, four pi over two. I just keep adding one to the numerator. So, what you got to do here is you got to know all the quadrant or coordinates at, at each of these. So, do you guys know the coordinates at two pi and zero? One and zero. The x value is one. We go out one, and then we don't go up or down. Uh, the coordinates for pi over two, what's that? Correct, zero, one. What are the coordinates for pi? Pi. Negative one, zero. And then what are the coordinates for three pi over two? Zero, negative one. And once we know that, we know all of them. Look, this is the sine of zero or two pi. I'm oh, sorry, this one right here. Remember, sine is the y value and cosine is the x value. Okay, let's, let's write that down. Cosine and then sine. This is x, this is y of all your coordinates. So, if we look at cosine of 3 pi over 2, bam! Zero. What about, ooh, secant. What? Secant? What is secant? Secant is the reciprocal of? So, it's 1 over cosine of pi? And do you guys know what cosine of pi is? Negative 1. Negative 1? So you get 1 over negative 1, which equals negative 1. Ooh. What about, what about, um, looking, looking, looking. No, not that one. Yeah, what about this one? What is that going to equal? What is the reciprocal of cosecant? 1 over sine pi. And what is sine of pi? Sine of pi is right there. You see it? You see it? So you get 1 over 0, which is? Undefined. Undefined, or you can say it does not exist. I think undefined is a better answer um, because we can never divide by a 0.